Right, oh, here we are, ready for some action at Dell. There is the gas station over there, the Interstate 80. Let's turn around, got my young bloke with me here today. There he is, back there. Oh yeah, got a few people in the car park. A few people out riding. Let's go do it, it's early November. Starting to get a little chilly. Oh yeah, these boys just got back in. They've been out for a bit of a ride. Sampling some of the good stuff. Still a little dusty. Need some more moisture. Go off on the easier loop today. Actually don't know what the name of it is. Someone needs to come up with a name for this loop that we're gonna go on. Steady Eddie loop maybe, that's what we'll call it. I don't know. But yeah, taking off from that north car park from the Dell gas station. Exit 70 on Interstate 80. You see the interstate out there? Everyone's cruising along. A few other punters over there coming back from their ride. So we're going to go on the loop straight north of the north side car park. Come on on up here. We'll go over the train crossing. Huck a hard right. Make sure there's no trains coming. Huck a hard right here into the grass. Not going left over to that one. Into here. And let's take off. Let's check it out. Oh, I've got some more boys over been riding over here. Nice. Watch this first dip. This one's a sharp one to the left there. Alright, alright. Hey guys. Righto, let's get into it. Some good flow out here. Like these trails over the jump. Yeah, nice one. Oh, nice little wheelie there. Dora up and over and down. Cruising along. There's the car park right there. Just got the train line in between us. We get up here and we'll veer around to the left and we start heading northbound up the ridge. No one coming on the road. Wheelie across, brop, brop. Nice. Little rough and bumpy through there, through the little dip here. Nice one. Get some great views of the Salt Lake up over here. We'll get more of them further up and around. Here we go, start heading up the rocky ridge now. Up on here. There's the old little uh, caboose over there on the train line. Been sitting there for years and years and years. All the salt mines out over there. Salt Lake City back that way, about 45. Oh, here comes young fella. He just rides steady. He's doing good. Oh, right, good? Yep, righto. Oh, that storm, she's coming in. It's winter time. Oh, maybe I've got the camera a little low on the angle here. That sort of looks like. Maybe I just tilt it back a little bit. Oh, there we go. Starting to get a little notchy up through here, a little rocky. 
little edgy. Something for my young bloke to sink his teeth into. Make him ride better. <laughs> Throw him in the deep end. Nothing too bad out on this loop here. There he is. He's got a. Let's see if he, he should. No worries. Oh, he's a little loose on the front end there. Stand up, mate. Stand up. That's better. Better if you can stand up. A lot smoother ride. Nothing too dicker or difficult on this loop out here. But I suppose that's all about perspective as well. Whether it's difficult or not. Generally a good flow you can get going out around this loop. It's probably all up. Oh, I don't know, maybe about an hour long. About 20 miles, I think. 30 k's. There we are, now starting to get a little bit higher. There's Dell, there's the gas station back over there. All the salt flats out behind it. So yeah, starting to get some unique scenery bringing up here. Yeah, it definitely needs some moisture. Trails aren't too bad. The rains the other day suppressed quite a bit of the dust. But she's still dry, a little skatey out here. One thing on these trails, there's a rock out here with your name on it. So you gotta watch out, especially the ones on the edge here. Tag one of them, and it'll go and spit you down real quick. So yeah, you gotta really watch out for the ones that are hidden in the grass on the side of the trail here. Uh, great riding though, love it out here. Such good times. And you get to ride here pretty much all the winter, especially on this low level stuff. Instead of up in the mountains where she's gotta be getting some snow and all that. So relative to how much snow we get this year, we should be able to ride pretty much nearly all of winter out on these trails which is awesome, I love that. Back on the clunker, 2009 model KTM 200 today. The one with the power valve that does not work. The one with the top hand that is way out of compliance for compression she's uh yeah doesn't take much to push the kickstarter down but does the job here's the thing i probably should i definitely need to fix these issues on the bike and we spent a day yesterday in the shed work on our stuff oh tag one there that big one to the left i tagged that one shot the front wheel out from underneath me a little bit so yeah, we are working it in the shed yesterday and we got some other stuff done. But um, could have been in the shed today working on this stuff, but I'd much rather come out ride. So it still works. Oh, there's a nice little rock right there. Rather be out here today riding, get some good times. The maintenance can wait. Oh, a little notchy going up here. Power down, carry the speed. Oh, yeah. A couple of nice ones there to get a flat tire on. Like so much of this stuff, the faster you can go on it, the more momentum you carry, the smoother the ride, the easier it is. And as I always say, my riding schools, the downside though is the bigger the consequences if you get it wrong, if you tag one of those rocks spit you out from underneath you all right stop here for a moment have a look oh yeah all out across there look at all that single track out there oh can't wait to go rip that bloody ace looking good goes up we go down the side angle of the hill here we come back across this way back around the point back towards the caboose Back, <laughs> fingers out of shot. Back around towards the caboose. And then we come back through here, through the little grass track section. 
up the ridge there cross side angle and loop right around the top end and do loop right back around the other side of this ridge back to the cars so young blokes coming along here he's being lazy he's sitting down stand up mate that's one of the things can't put the pressure on to uh, instruct and give him you know, do this do that don't want to be that parent so We'll check in real quick with him. All right, roll along good. All right, look down there. That's where we were down there. You see the trail down there? That's that grass track section and all that. Righto? Sweet. All right. So he's got himself. He's on his KTM 85 today. Was well, it 2014 model, I think, maybe? 10 years old, works good. This one is 15 years old. This bike, still solid as. Firm believer on utilizing the older bikes. You don't need a new one. But it's all relative as well on, on how much of a, how clapped out the old bikes are on that. But these bikes here in the last 20 years are so bloody good. Whoa. Yeah, hucked right over that one. <laughs> That sucked. I went ahead, jumped over that bloody thing, and there's a heap of shit in my fucking goggles. And it went up in my eyes. That was a dickhead move, wasn't it? You've got to shake them goggles out. Alright. Alright, we'll head on down this side angle here. So, yeah, you didn't see the all the dirt and crud from the last ride fly up in the inside of my goggles but I did and I went straight in my bloody eyeball that sucked there we go, let's get some speed here oh, nearly skated off the edge on that one sharp right hander Yeah, wheelie really across them. There's a couple of loose ones along here. Pushing, playing with fire a little bit. Going a little faster. I might tag one. We'll see some real spectacular action then. We'll see a bit of sky dirt, sky dirt. That won't be pleasant. Hear that clunk? Well, fork seals have been leaking for a while. Not much oil left in the forks. <laughs> she just blew right through the stroke. And he just bottomed out big time. That's a proper bottom out, people. Not this. Oh, nice little jump up that thing. Wheelie really over that one. Oh, yeah. couple of little rock ledges there, or it's not that rock ledges, just rocks, sharp edge rocks. Power on up the hill. Wheelie over that one, wheelie over that one, jump over that one, another wheelie. Yeah. <laughs> Wheelie over that one, yeah, and that one. That was more like a jump. Ah, this is great. I love this. Wish this thing was running good and she'd actually rev out. Then we gotta get some good flow. Side angle here. Watch out for the loose ones on the uphill side. Catch one of them, that'll spit ya. Oh, the wind's coming in. Oh, there's a loose one. She was half sticking out. Someone's tagged that before. Wheelie over that and jump. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Let's see. Wheelie. Another wheelie over that sucker. Oh, we jumped this one. Phew. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, this is the good stuff here. Wheelie, another long wheelie. Woo! Oh, 13 minutes already. Oh, we'll stop this clip here and then we'll continue on the rest of it.